Nick. What's up? You have something on your shoulder. No, I'm not going to fall for that again, dude. Dude, I'm telling you, you have something on your shoulder. Mm -mm. Nope. Nick, there's a fucking monkey on your shoulder. What's up, bitches? You want some more scotch? Hey y'all, welcome to the Whiskey Warehouse. I'm Dylan. I'm Nick. Today we have another scotch. We're adding to our uh, palettes here at the Whiskey Warehouse. Always looking for more, looking for better. So today we're featuring Monkey Shoulder, the quintessential scotch apparently. Yeah, it's like your Evan Williams to bourbon, or Evan Williams to scotch. It's a yeah. blend of three single malt space sides, Got which it, we're kind it. of familiar with because we yeah. reviewed Glen Livet, yep, and which is a space side. Yes, and and really awesome all the time. So it's got a couple of monkeys on there, monkey shoulder. It's eighty-six proof, same as Evan Williams, forty-three percent. This is Bass twenty-seven, whatever that means. Um, I don't know the proof on this or the uh, age on this, so we're just gonna hop right into it. Apparently, it's like it's pretty cheap. It's like 30 bucks a bottle, which ain't too bad. No, that's pretty good. For a good. scotch. So, uh, let's get a wood top, wood cork. Super light. It is. <laughs> so, if it's a blend of three space sides, the peat should be minimal. Yeah. Which I'm hoping. I haven't had it. I mean, I have had it done some damage to this, but I've got this, damn, I got this bottle maybe a year a year or two ago. I think it's been like two years. Yeah. I got it in um, Idaho, I think, for some fucking reason. No. No, I got it when I got back from Idaho. So yeah, it's been about two years. Yeah. Wild. Mm. It's old. Yeah, it is. That's old. So, the color... It's a little darker than that Indian whiskey. Yeah. It's like a gold. I would say it's almost bourbon-esque. Like, it's dark enough that it would be, like, almost amber, well, almost gold. Yeah, I think it's just, so. like, below that gold color. Barely. Mm, so bad. Mm, yeah. It's pretty good. The legs. There are legs. I just saw them coming yeah, down. Yeah, it's coming down a little bit. Thick mm. and fast. Mm. Looks good. Let's stop talking about the legs. Let's get into the, let's do the dance. All right. Let's do some cocaine. Oh. Really off-putting nose. Yeah. That's like a, like a, I don't know. It smells like. What is that? What have we had that smells like this? It's like a peaty orange. Yeah. Or like the peated, uh. Pears, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, peated you know, pears. Smoke, smoky pears, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't smell great. Like, I'm not like, oh man, I'm excited to drink this, but I will say... The smells can be deceiving. Yes, because the last couple scotches we had were like, ooh. Hey, Johnny and Walker then, smells nasty, yeah. and then we get tasted like, like, ooh. Yeah, yeah, how about that? Yeah, yeah. It does. It's kind of like a fruity scent, like a, like a peated fruit. Yeah, it is. That's all you really get. Yep. No, there's. it's not overly complex. Mm -mm. No. I don't get any vanilla. No caramel. Like, nothing that really should jump out at you. No, that's, mm -hmm. that's pretty much it. Yep. Alright, fuck it. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Another winner. Yeah. Ooh. Smoky, but not too smoky. It's got a nice, sweet, maybe I think a little bit of char mm -hmm. on the back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little pepper. Yeah, and oh, what is this? more char? That's weird. I've never gotten char in a scotch. This would be like a really good pre-dinner whiskey. Definitely looks like some meats or something. Oh yeah. Mm. In an 86 proof, it does go down very nice. Very smooth. Mm. 
has those fruit notes, but it kind of turns almost there is like a caramely, like like a cooked caramely sugar yeah, thing. Yeah, I was gonna say like almost just caramely going down. Very nice, and it uh, it does leave you with just a hint of oak. The oak, cooked oak. Mm. That's nice. How much is this? You know, like thirty bucks. That's a good price. Good price for imported, you know, Irish or oh, yeah. uh, not Irish. Scotch. Scot Scottish whiskey. Whiskey. <clears throat> whiskey. Whiskey. Mm. Mm -mm. Well, if I had to rate this, I like this better than Indian whiskey. Yeah, more more depth. There is. 87. Ooh. Pretty good. I like it. And it's, for scotch, I mean, very enjoyable, almost bourbon-esque a little bit. It is. So, I'll take it. I like it a lot. Put it at an 89. I Just like below it. that unicorn status. It's it is. It's not bad. It's, it's a good scotch, man. Yeah. It's not. Oh, it's very peat. good. I don't get much peat at all on the on the palate. No, no. It's just enough that it's <clears> like okay, like this is smoky. It the tiniest. Of, it's just in the background, yeah. just chilling. Like hey, what's up? I'm here, but I I'm think not. That this would be a good um, pairing with campfire whiskey. Mm -hmm. Like the, they're both kind of in that like it's peated enough that it's good. Right. It's not overly peated. I think Campfire's like, peat is a little more than this. Yeah, it is. But I'm, as far as like the complexities go, like they're, they're, similar, they're yeah. very similar. They are. Definitely. Very tasty. <clears throat> I like this a lot. I like the... Did you get, did you get like the char on the back? Mm -hmm. that, that was nice. Very good. Because they use, use barrels, so mm -hmm. I never really get char on any scotch. I would highly recommend this if you're looking to start in scotch. I think good intro. Good intro one. for scotch, yes. Um... Can't imagine it. much better ones. I mean, Johnny Walker was good. Yeah, Glenn, uh, Le Glenn Livett was yep. good. Yep, and this one also Very good. good. We need to start expanding. You know, maybe bring the Shabazz for Gall. And we'll just freaking. I thought about bringing that. That twelve year like it's. <laughs> I thought about uh, bringing. Dude. We'll do that one next. Yeah, How about that? That's gonna be the one that we're gonna be like. We're working our way up to Eyeless. Yeah, and I've got one at my my house. The. Uh, Lagavulin, the 16. Yeah, that'll be a good one. Can't wait. Yeah. Uh, subscribe, guys. Take the time. Press the button. It's just down there. It takes a second. Drop one video a week. Um, sometimes we have little adventure things going on. Mm -hmm. uh, well, speaking of adventure things, um, Sarah got me this. Have you had those uh, rum cakes before from yeah. uh, Tortuga? Uh -huh. They make a bourbon cake. Okay. So Sarah got me one for Valentine's Day. I know it's been a while, review. but so me and Sarah are gonna review it. Yes. So uh, we'll see how that goes. The reviews are great. So expecting good things. Yeah, I'm excited though. I'll watch that. Yeah. I might bring some over and film you yeah. with your reaction, and then put it in there. Mm. I like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's literally all we'll have to do. I like it. <laughs> uh, what, what do you think, Dylan? I like it. All right. Cool. <laughs> We're always doing stuff, so yeah, I'm doing shit. Keep an eye out for our videos. Um, in the summer, we'll probably try to bring back our podcast, so you can listen to that. We'll probably try. by this time, be that that time of year. We'll try. All right, guys. Uh, till next time. Stay tuned. We'll see you next week. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Here's a couple more down below that you might enjoy, and we also have hundreds of more videos on the channel for you to check out. We also have a podcast that you might like. It'll be linked in the description. And come join our Discord server where we join uh, other people talking about whiskey, whiskey-related topics. It's just called The Whiskey Warehouse. And thanks for watching again. And make sure to subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Cheers.